Coming up, meet the man making waves with his John Lennon-inspired pizza restaurant, Give Pizza a Chance. And the man suing him after a bout of food poisoning. Mm. <laughs> but first, Roger Jennings is coming to us live from the Custer County Magnet School Science Fair. Roger. Looks like quite the place to be. It sure is. Custer County Magnet School really pulls out all the stops for its annual science fair. Let's talk to one of the teachers to see how it's going. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell us about the science fair? Ni jaba no bada. Ni goody so goody. Not again. I'm sure you all remember our old friend David Wayne Starr. That's David Wayne Starr with, with a, a double, double R. R. <laughs> You've really grown into your voice, David. Oh, you noticed. Thank you. Yeah, you look a lot different from the last time. How old are you now? Well, in Earth years, I'm 19. So technically, I should be done with school. But you know, there was that whole thing that happened in 2020. Ah, yes, the pandemic. Oh, no, I got sucked into a board game. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You see, I found myself in a Jumanji-type situation, trapped in the jungle for three years, fighting for my life. I saw things no child should ever see. Uh, uh, okay. You laugh, Mr. Jennings, but I can assure you it's no laughing matter. Do you have any idea what it's like to become best friends with a walrus, only to watch him get torn limb from limb by a mole person who claims himself to be the reincarnation of author J.D. Salinger? Can't say that I do, no. Well, then come check out my science fair diorama. Oh, we don't have to. What to expect when you're jumanji into a board game you supported on Kickstarter. <laughs> so this was the kingdom of the mole people. This is where I lived in the jungle. And this, this is the skull of Bartleby, the greatest warrior of the mole people who I had to defeat in the arena of Mole Zoo 7 in a ritualistic battle to the death. <laughs> Every time you kill a mole person, your voice drops an octave. <laughs> I killed three. Okay, let's go see some of the other exhibits, I think. Sounds good. Yeah, part two. Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> this is where my family moved while I was trapped inside of the game. Your family moved away while you were lost? Mr. Jennings, I just showed you the skull of my enemies and that's what you took away from this? Sorry, I can't imagine what that was like. Well, it's all right. But I did learn a lot about the local foliage. You know, it was a lot like Vietnam. Because it's a jungle? No, because I didn't win and I just kind of went home. <laughs> You've come a long way from just being a kid who loves Star Wars. Yeah, now I'm a kid who loves Star Wars and needs a lot of therapy. <laughs> That's sad. Well, it's like my dad always said, can't live with him. That's all for us here at the Custer County Science Fair. You got anything else to say, David? Yeah. Just be yourself, and the people who love you will love you. Oh, that's actually really good advice. They want a wonga? They want a wonga, Mr. Jennings. <laughs> Thank you for watching that sketch. Uh, David, you got anything to say? Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out more content like this on the BYU TV app. Are you reading? There's no, there's no teleprompter. There's always one if you believe. <laughs>